Hey y'all, hey, if you are new here, my name is Denise and thank you so much for clicking on this video today. And we are currently in my master bedroom. I just wanted you all to get a glimpse of what it looks like prior to any changes. The bedroom, in my opinion, was gorgeous as is, but I did want to church it up a bit. And I told you all that I wanted to do some painting during Hurricane Dorian if you're not privy to my last vlog. So we went to the Lowe's and we picked out a color. There were so many options, I was a little bit confused, but we did finally choose one. Here is the complete color card, but we did actually choose Agave Blue. Luke actually loves the name because it makes him think of tequila, but it really is a beautiful color. Um, this is what the wall looks like, and it was going to be a challenge for us to actually get it painted, so we had to put both of our nightstands together and put the lat on top of that. And poor Luke, he did such an amazing job getting that tape up there on the wall because I was not gonna do it. So now that everything is fully taped off, now the fun begins and I actually did all of the painting but I underestimated the width of the wall and I only bought one quart of paint so we had to go back to Lowe's and buy some more paint but it all worked out and I finished the wall. So I actually opted to create my own wall decor using PicMonkey and I used Office Depot to print them for me and I purchased these 16 by 20 picture frames from Walmart and they are front loading so it wasn't as dangerous as I expected it to be but and they were also very reasonably priced. So if you didn't know, now you know. I do love myself some Celine Dion, so I chose one of her lyrics that represents God and Luke. I'm everything I am because God loves me and I'm everything I am because Luke loves me and he also made me a better woman and for that I am thankful. These two pieces are going to go above the lamps in the bedroom and I shopped my home and I found this medallion hidden behind the bed in our guest bedroom. So yeah, it's really cute. I thought it would fit perfectly. It has some, uh, I want to say, antiquing done to it. Like, I don't, I don't know how to describe the detailing of it, but it looks like it's been whitewashed or antiqued or some sort of thing. And I purchased it from Ross for $19.99. That was a good buy in my opinion. And these are the tools that I'll be using. I actually didn't use, I don't know what I didn't use. I didn't use the leveler, but I did use one of those heavy duty um, tacks for the medallion. And I used the nails for the picture frames. And that is the type of hook that's on the back of it. I think they call that a jigsaw hook and I put tape on it so that I can put that above the wall and mark it so that I won't have to put so many holes in my wall. If you ever used it, just let me know in the comments. And that is what it looks like. I think that it was leveled to me. I mean, it was kind of difficult, but I used the same process for the picture frames as well. And I think it all turned out great. This is just a clip just so you can refresh your memory of what it looked like prior to any changes. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys are digging it just as much as I am. This is what it looks like in the daytime. I want you to see the color under the lighting of, I guess you would call that natural lighting. Um, I love everything about my room. There's plenty of textures here as you can see. I have beautiful pillows that I may be changing out eventually, but for the most part, everything is just popping. It, it, yeah, it's popping up in here and I'm loving it. I hope you are as well. I'm also going to show you guys what it looks like at night because the color does change. It's very noticeable, but at the same time, still subtle.
so right here is two o'clock in the daytime and even at a distance you can see that the color just doesn't look the same gorgeous but it definitely doesn't look the same as it did up close and um yeah you can see the blinds are still open the sun is shining and this is at i want to say dusk around 7 30 at night and um yeah the color is just a little bit deeper a little bit richer still gorgeous but yeah, I definitely can see the color changes from the daytime to the nighttime, and that's why I wanted you all to see it as well. you all enjoyed this video today if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up i really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so i would love to have you in my comments saying hello and until my next video bye